Now, I've made rankings for the Mario Kart series before, including videos on the tracks, on the songs in the series, the battle stages, and ranking on the games. But today I'm going to take a page out of Jamie the Payne's book, and rank all the cups in the series. Now, this is going to be a long road ahead of us, so what I did was add up all of the track scores, and the lower the number is for each cup, the better rating it is, and the closer it's going to be to number one. Now, much like Jamie the Payne's video, this is a subjective list, and if you've whether you've seen that video or not, this one is going to be a pretty fun one. So if you're a Mario Kart fan, I suggest you get ready. Number 53, and we have to start somewhere, is Super Mario Kart's Flower Cup, with a terrible score of 1,050. It's just not a good cup at all. I mainly despise Bowser Castle 2, Ghost Valley 2, and Mario Circuit 3, since their tracks are just horrible designs overall, but the other tracks are much better. Donut Plains 2 and Choco Island 1 are mediocre at absolute best. It's just not a good cup, and every time I play it, it leaves me feeling empty. Number 52 is Super Mario Kart Star Cup. Yeah, Super Mario Kart doesn't have a rich, have a very good tracks. And the Star Cup only got a rating of 985. At least it wasn't over a thousand, but still not a very good rating. The thing about this cup is, it's not terrible. I like Koopa Beach 1, and I don't really mind Shuckle Island 1 2 either, but Vanilla Lake 1, Mario Circuit 4, and Bowser Castle 3, I just do not like these tracks. They are not fun, and there isn't really any part of them that makes me want to come back. Koopa Beach 1 is the highlight of the cup, but it's at the beginning, so after that, the cup just kind of sucks a bit. Number 51 is Super Mario Kart's Mushroom Cup. It's a score of 928. Some of my favorite tracks from Super Mario Kart are in here, but that's not saying much, uh, since the game doesn't really have that many amazing tracks at all. I do like Donut Plains 1. I don't hate Ghost Valley 1 or Mario Circuit 1. Bowser Castle 1 is alright, and Mario Circuit 2 is a pretty good track for the game standards, mainly for each jump near the end. It's not a terrible cup, and these are some pretty nice tracks, but they don't try anything too complex, because that would make it a lot more harder considering the, the slippery controls of this game. But still, I just don't really like it that much. And number 50 is Super Mario Kart Special Cup, 910. Alright, look, I don't hate Super Mario Kart, but... It just had to have all four of its cups in the bottom. I don't hate this one, either. Vanilla Lake 2 is completely awful, and it really brought the cup down. But Rainbow Road and Koopa Beach 2 were the two best tracks in the game. Donut Plains 3 isn't really bad, either. Not least this is Ghost Valley 3, which I also hate. Not as bad as Vanilla Lake 2. Though. Overall, it's a very divisive cup. But at the end of the day, it is Super Mario Kart's best. Things can only get better from here, though. Number 49 is Mario Kart DS's Shell Cup, the very first Retro Cup in the series, and it got a score of 738. It brings back the previously mentioned Mario Circuit 1, which is okay, doesn't really improve. Moomin Farm isn't bad, it's my favorite track in this cup, but doesn't really make it go take it any wonders. It doesn't really make it anything fantastic. GBA Peach Circuit is fine, GC and Luigi Circuit is fine. All these tracks rank near the bottom of the list, so I can't say I'm surprised this cup ended up this low. This isn't very fun, so of course it's gonna be low here. Number 48 is Mario Kart DS's Banana Cup, which is better, with a score of 713. GBA Bowser Castle 2 and Excuse War for Ape Snowland are about the same quality as the originals, but they're both alright. I don't really hate them, and they're good at best. Donut Plains 1 I kind of have a soft spot for, like we mentioned before. But GC and Baby Park was absolutely butchered in this in this uh, game. It's easily the worst track of the cup, really bringing it down. Then again, the cup wouldn't have scored that higher without it. Number 47 is Mario Kart Wii Shell Cup, with a score of 692. Look, look, Mario Kart Wii might have an awesome selection of tracks, but the Shell Cup is not half one. And 64 Mario Raceway is probably my favorite track here, but I really don't like it that much. Quite frankly, I'm tired of playing it online. That's another problem. Ghost Valley 2, I just don't care about it at all, and the same goes for Yoshi Falls. Both tracks are very, very average. Pretty mediocre, actually. Peach Beach, not awful. That might be my favorite track of the cup, but not really saying much. So yeah, it's a fine cup, but it is the worst from Wii. Number 46 is Mario Kart 64 Flower Cup, 686. Now, I don't have any vendetta against Mario Kart 64, but it just doesn't have that many good tracks. 
And we're starting off here at the bottom with the, this game with the same way it went for Super Mario Kart, the Flower Cup. Now, Mario Raceway we just mentioned, and it's okay. Not, not really anything to mention about it. It's about the same quality as its remake. Then there's Choco Choco Mountain, which I hate. I, I simply hate. No, there's no gutting around it. Fat Base Snowland, I already mentioned it. It's okay. Toadstone Pike, which, sure, might not be that good in Mario Kart 8, but it's a lot worse than the original, in my opinion. I don't really have anything special to say about this cup, I'm gonna be honest. Number 45 is Mario Kart Super Circuit's Mushroom Cup, with a score of 645. I do like Super Circuit's tracks, they're pretty good, and the Mushroom Cup doesn't have a complete lack of them. Riverside Park is pretty nice, same goes with Shy Guy Beach. Hazard Castle 1 and Peach Circuit are obviously very mediocre tracks, but it's not a bad cup, and it explains why the worst Super Mario Earth track, the worst cup in Mario Kart Super Circuit didn't do too badly in the grand scheme of things. Number 44 is Mario Kart um, Mario Kart 64's Mushroom Cup with a score of 613. First two tracks in this cup, Luigi Raceway, especially, and Moo Moo Farm, I just don't care about. They're not really fun tracks. However, Koopa Troopa Beach and Calamari Desert are pretty good tracks. Seriously, some of the best in the game. So, um, I guess that does explain why this cup didn't do horribly, and in at least not did the Flower Cup from the same game. Number 43 is Mario Kart Super Circuit's Flower Cup. Man, the Flower Cups were not that good in the older games, I guess. With a score of 611, this cup isn't all bad. I like Cheeseland, it's definitely a nice track. Bowser Castle 2 isn't the worst 2D Bowser Castle track, as we've already discussed Super Mario Kart. Then there's, uh, then there's Boo Lake, which, you know, isn't a bad track, but I didn't really like the ghost tracks from the older games. And then we had Mario Circuit, which is the worst, and there isn't really anything much to say about it. It's a fairly average cup that was brought up by Cheeseland, which is a track I have a soft spot for. Number 42 was Mario Kart 64 Star Cup, with a score of 606. Two of my favorite tracks in the game being Royal Raceway and Bowser's Castle, but they just aren't that good even when you're not comparing them to their remix. Then there's Wario Stadium and Sherbet Land, two tracks that I do not do not like at all, respectively. Wario Stadium because it's way too long, and Sherbet Land because it's not fun. It might be better than it's Mario Kart Wii remake because it feels less sl slippery, but that doesn't make it a good track. Number 41 is Mario Kart DS's Mushroom Cup. Now, this Mushroom Cup may start off pretty badly with Figure 8 Circuit, which is easily the worst Mushroom Cup track in the series, if you were to ask me. So boring and basic. Yoshi Falls, of course, isn't much better, but I like Cheap Cheap Beach in the way you just mentioned. Now, both of these tracks aren't as good as the remakes, per se, but they are pretty nice, and they are kind of like the Mario Kart 64 Mushroom Cup, where the two tracks at the end bring it up. Since I do like these tracks, and are some of the better ones from DS. And number 40 is Mario Kart 64's Special Cup. We're saying goodbye to Mario Kart 64 with a score of 597, which, you know, isn't really that better than the DS Mushroom Cup, but hey. This track has DK's Jungle Parkway and Banshee Boardwalk, my two favorite tracks in Mario Kart 64, so that's nice. And you Yoshi Ballet, which I don't hate, but it is pretty boring and lax compared to its remake. But what really brought this cup down from being better is Rainbow Road. Easily the worst track in this game, and one of my least favorite Mario Kart tracks ever. It's so slow, so boring, and it did not deserve to be so as long as it was. Number 39 is Mario Kart DS's Leaf Cup. Almost done with DS's Retro Cups here, with a score of 573. Now, this cup I feel pretty divisive about. Koopa Beach 2 is my favorite track in Super Mario Kart, but that doesn't that per se mean that it's really that great of a track here. Choco Mountain I already discussed. It does get a better remake in DS since it isn't as slippery, but I just do not like it anyway. Unless it's the Tour remake. However, GBA the Luigi Circuit I do kind of have a soft spot for it for its rain effects. GCN Mushroom Bridge might have received the downgrade, but it's not awful. So, there you go. The cup is pretty average, and if it weren't for Choco Mountain, it might have actually done better. Number 38 is Mario Kart Double Dash's Mushroom Cup with a score of 571. Now, we haven't gotten to all the Mario Kart games yet, but, but Double Dash did surprisingly well. Now, Baby Park is a track that I believe gets way too much hate, and it's a lot of fun, if you're playing the Double Dash or 8 Deluxe version. Luigi's Circuit isn't actually that bad, too. 
Dry Dry Desert might be my least favorite track from this game, and I might not really care for Peach Beach, but it didn't do that bad compared to some of these other cups, which just weren't that great so far. But I'm gonna leave it at that, and I'll continue next time.